Watching horror movies in a theater is always, it's always kind of a treat. I usually sit away from the people, but when I watch horror movies, I sit with the crowd, because chances are they'll probably scream louder than I will. So it's the only time I'm not mad at people making noise and talking during the movie, because, you know, they're just nervous and, you know, it's fun to hear them scream. Ha ha ha. So Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones is written and directed by Christopher B. Landons, and this stars Andrew Jacobs and Jorge Diaz. Now Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones is also, I think, kind of a sequel. It's marketed as a spin-off, but chronologically speaking, I think it happens after the events of Paranormal Activity 4. And this time you're focused on this Latino community in California, wherein this guy, Jesse, has just graduated, he's just turned 18, when he starts to experience certain things happening to him. At first you think it's pretty cool, it's kind of like the movie Chronicle, but then as time goes on, it becomes apparent that these powers that he suddenly has are kind of demonic and they're turning him into something else. So that's the most notable thing about this movie is that it really strays away from the premise of the first four, which was, you know, people setting up cameras inside a house and you just kind of see what happens. In a sense, this movie kind of does become like a typical fan footage movie in the sense that you're just watching handheld footage. Okay, first thing I have to touch on because, like, this made an impact on me the entire movie uh, because we don't have any more of those steady shots of, you know, just watching a room and, like, Toby doing stuff to the room. Since we're on a handheld now, a GoPro, the cinematography here is just, it's, it made me really queasy. Like, like, this camera was just all over the place and I just started getting sick to my stomach like half an hour and it was, it was pretty tough to watch. And I'm rarely bothered by, you know, this kind of filmmaking. Like, I can handle that usually, but here, it's just like, hyperactive kid holding a camera and that really really dropped the movie down for me a lot also this is just kind of like a side note but has anyone else noticed that like the sound in these movies has never been as good as it was in the first one like the first one when you heard toby go like scream and like slam the wall and stuff like that was really scary but after that it's just kind of like okay it's just, like growling and stuff so i don't know it's pretty unremarkable in terms of writing, you don't have any more that whole setup of a family and then it kind of starts to fall apart because no one believes the person who, you know, is experiencing the paranormal activity. Here you have these teenagers running around, but it doesn't really feel like we're following them as characters. It's like the plot is developing around them, thus they, they kind of are just plot devices. There's not much of, you know, development here in terms of character. However, I did think the nods to the earlier movies were pretty cool. Like, I know some people really didn't like them, but I thought they were really cool. I mean, the ending especially is like complete fan service for anyone who was who liked the first movie, and I really liked the first movie. And finally, they did what Paranormal Activity 4 couldn't do, which was, you know, add new stuff to kind of further the mythology. You get some cool cameos here, and some people say it was confusing, like the stuff they tried to add, but here I, th I thought it was just right. I mean, I didn't want them to answer all the, que all the questions I had yet, but... I thought what they added still kind of made sense to me, and I was having fun just kind of trying to piece it together on my own. And really, the thing I liked the most about this movie was that the new premise it has, it's its really cool. It had lots of cool moments. I mean, this is pretty much Chronicle, yes. It's no, nowhere near as good as Chronicle, but, you know, demon superpowers, that's, that's cool. But if it sounds like I enjoyed this movie, I didn't, because this movie's not scary. And that's the number one thing I wanted in this movie, like, to be scary again, but it's not scary at all. By my count, there were like fewer bad jump scares than in the fourth one, but this one, like, they were more stupid. Like, the jump scares were more stupid, they were more predictable. Like, you, s you have some guy walking through a hall and he's calling out, just, Jesse, Jesse, and obviously he's gonna pop out of darkness and it does. Like, every single bad jump scare that happens here, you can see it coming, seriously. And let's do the math there. Like, if there are fewer bad jump scares and it's not scary, what happens in, like, the rest of the running time? There are some cool moments that happen but like those are usually near the end the rest of it is actually pretty boring like it's fun to see a new environment but really it's like nothing's nothing really is happening like the build-up takes forever and they could have just done it you know fast and there isn't, that part isn't, doesn't even have those nods to the earlier movies and it's kind of like the fourth one unfortunately in the sense that at the end it's not really fulfilling like it doesn't tie in again to the main story because we're following different characters like these people have nothing to do with the actual story and it just feels like you know they're being killed off or they're being you know they're undergoing all this stress for absolutely no reason i mean i don't we don't even know if the demon in this movie is toby we don't even know if it's a demon well it probably is but you know 
So yes, the Mark 1s did have a cool premise, like I thought it had a lot of potential with that. It was interesting to see this franchise go in this direction. I think they could do a lot by showing us the bad guy's perspective, demon's perspective. I thought that would be pretty cool. But in the end, this movie is just, it's just not scary. And like, it really veers away from the, for the original formula even more. And it's just, ah, uh, it's, it's on such a tightrope, you know, they're trying new things, but at the same time, they're forgetting who they are. So I'm not gonna say this movie is good, definitely not, and it's, but I wouldn't say it's bad, it's just meh. So yes, Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, have you seen it? Are you interested in this franchise at all? There's gonna be number 5 in October, so... Anyway, whatever you thought, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree, please leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation.